Majesty's Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa performed Eid al Fitr prayers at Al Sakhir Palace Mosque today. Present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Highnesses, senior members of the Royal Family, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ministers, senior officers of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior and National Guard, and guests. His Majesty the King listened to the prayer sermon delivered by the chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Dr. Rashid bin Muhammad al Hajri, who highlighted the noble values embedded in Eid al Fitr. Dr. al Hajri prayed to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty with good health and happiness to continue bringing about more achievements to the nation. He also wished Bahrain and its people everlasting security, safety, and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership, praying to Allah Almighty to accept every everyone's fasting, night prayers, and good deeds. الصلاة قائمة الله أكبر 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 لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولله الحمد وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له رب رحيم عفو كريم يغفر الذنوب ويستر العيوب يجيب الدعوات ويضاعف الحسنات وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله النبي الأمين والناصح المبين رحمة للعالمين وحجة على الخلق أجمعين صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته واحرصوا على ما فيه صلاح نفوسكم ورقي وسعادة مجتمعاتكم فإن رسالتكم رسالة رحمة ودينكم دين عقل وحكمة قال تعالى وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين ثم صلوا وسلموا رحمكم الله على من أمركم ربكم بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه 
اللهم بارك له في عمره وصحته وعافيته وبارك له في إخوانه وأنجاله وذرياتهم اللهم وفقه وولي عهده الأمين وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين اللهم تقبل من الصائمين صيامهم واغفر ذنبهم وآتهم سؤلهم واجعل صيامهم مقبولا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وكل عام وأنتم خير وتقبل الله طاعتكم Following the prayers, His Majesty exchanged greetings with worshippers wishing Bahrain and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further progress. The worshippers extended their heartfelt congratulations on this occasion, wishing His Majesty good health and happiness, as well as continued success in enhancing the prosperity of the kingdom. They lauded the royal decree of His Majesty, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, regarding pardoning inmates convicted in cases related to riots and criminal offences on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee and Eid al-Fitr. They hailed His Majesty's wise approach, tolerance, forgiveness and humanity, and his keenness on the cohesion and solidarity of our society and dedication to maintaining its social fabric within the framework of upholding the public interest and to provide the opportunity for positive integration into society in a way that upholds human rights values and standards.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Eid al Fitr. He wished His Majesty good health, happiness, and many happy returns of the day. His Majesty sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness, congratulating him on this occasion and wishing him good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations and good wishes with the leaders of GCC, Arab Islamic and friendly countries on Eid al Fitr. His Majesty wished them good health and happiness as well as many happy returns to their countries and peoples. Leaders of GCC, Arab and Islamic countries expressed their congratulations to His Majesty on this occasion, wishing him good health and happiness and they also wished the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the occasion of Eid Al Fitr. The two leaders exchanged greetings, wishing their countries and peoples more progress and prosperity. They also wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. A phone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. During the phone call, congratulations and blessings were exchanged on the occasion of Eid Al Fitr, wishing the two brotherly peoples and countries with more prosperity and progress, and to the Arab and Islamic nations, prosperity and blessings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mohammed Shehbaz Sharif. His Majesty the King and the Pakistani Prime Minister exchanged congratulations on Eid al Fitr, wishing the two countries, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged Eid al Fitr greetings with GCC, Arab and Islamic leaders, as well as Crown Princes and Prime Ministers. He expressed his congratulations on the occasion and wished their countries and peoples many happy returns and further prosperity. The GCC, Arab and Islamic leaders expressed their best wishes to His Royal Highness on this blessed occasion and further progress and prosperity to the people of Bahrain. The Alumni Club, in the presence of the advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Mr. Nabil bin Yaqub al Hamar and Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah bin Hamad al Khalifa, held a poetry evening in which it hosted the artist Ahmed Jumeiri and the poet Ibrahim Lansari. A dialogue session took place where the guests exchanged stories and memories with wide interaction from the audience. The evening comes as part of a Ramadan program prepared by the Alumni Club, which includes several meetings and evenings in which it hosts a number of personalities and entities from social and artistic fields. <coughs> Large crowds of citizens and residents perform the Eid al Fitr prayer in various governorates of the kingdom, including th in the Heritage Village prayer hall designed by the Sunni Waqf Council amid an atmosphere of reassurance and faith. More in this report. Bahrain rushed to mosques and various governorates of the kingdom to perform Eid al Fitr prayers. The Sunni Waqt Council has been preparing all the prayer halls and the various governorates to ensure the ease and comfort of performing the prayer. Citizens and residents took advantage of the happy occasion to deepen the bond between members of society and continue the communication between them through visits and congratulations on this happy occasion in a scene that reflects the extent of interconnectedness and unity of the Bahraini people. Large crowds of worshippers also performed the prayer in the Heritage Village Prayer Hall in an atmosphere full of happiness and joy. Citizens and residents stood in queues to decorate their cars with the flag of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and others raised pictures of His Majesty the King to express their love and belonging to the Kingdom and loyalty to its leadership to embody the most beautiful meanings of unity and solidarity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Director General of the General Traffic Department, Brigadier Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abdul Wahab, confirmed that the administration has taken all preparations to intensify traffic safety during Eid, especially at mosques, commercial complexes and sites of activities. 
He said that traffic movement will be monitored through smart systems, mobile patrols and police. He said that traffic services will be available electronically through the e-government website e-traffic. He congratulated everyone on the occasion of Eid al-Fatr, calling on all road users to adhere to traffic regulations. And efforts by security officials continue to maintain security and stability of the nation on the occasion of Eid al-Fatr. The police directorates in the four governorates and the departments of the Ministry of Interior took all necessary measures to secure the safety of citizens and residents. The directorates and community police began their role by implementing measures in various regions of Bahrain to secure aid prayers, to spread the spirit of security and reassurance to everyone, and to enhance cooperation with citizens and residents to implement the principle of community partnership and national belongings in order to ensure everyone's safety.